Hey guys, this is Yana with Medish and today's anatomy video is basically to give us a general idea about the thorax which is more commonly known by basically everybody as the chest. The thorax is mostly made of a thoracic cave that encloses a bunch of organs, blood vessels, nerves, muscles and so on. There are three major, you could say, groups or more like classifications of bones that make up the thoracic cage. And so they are the sternum, the ribs, and the thoracic vertebrae. The clavicles are also right there, but they're not part of the thoracic cage. In later videos, I might go into more details about the ribs, vertebrae, and sternum, and all this other stuff. So let me know in the comment section if you'd like for me to do that so that I can push it to the top of the list. The diaphragm is a vital muscle, but you can't really say it's part of the thoracic cage basically just mans the lower, also called the inferior opening of the thoracic cage and so it separates our chest area from our abdomen. So it's sort of like a security guard. <laughs> so it only allows certain things in and out like blood vessels and nerves and so on. And in anatomy, we know that structure is usually closely related to function and so in this case, since we have a cage-like structure, it's only normal that the major function would be for protection. So what does it protect? Well, if you've seen a James Bond movie or any action movie, basically, you would know that a gunshot wound to the chest could be fatal. And this is for no other reason than the vulnerability of the glorified organs that reside inside the thoracic cage, like the heart, its aorta, the lungs, and so on. Also, a less popular function of the thoracic cage is for anatomical landmarks, and these are basically like projections or indentations that we can feel during palpation. And then trace to other structures that we're actually looking for. For example, the tip of the xiphoid process, which is the most inferior part of the sternum, is at level T10. And also the sternal angle, which is located just around there, is at the level R2. And finally, the thoracic cage is also vital for breathing in the form of inhalation and exhalation. And this function is probably one of the most obvious of functions. I mean, come on. Unless, of course, all this time you've always thought that you've been breathing through your skin like a toad. <laughs> so we've come to the end of this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to see more content from us, take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you later.